And now it's time to go racing. The testing's over and it's into the first round of Funny Car Eliminator. On screen is John Taylor from New South Wales, running his Corvette 80% mix of nitro and alcohol car. His component is Peter Russo from Victoria in the Working Class Hero. The man working hard this time, though, is going to be John Taylor. Peter Russo is probably Australia's number one and funny car at this point of time since Romeo Capitania has been removed from the scene. Peter Russo is back with the KB after an unsuccessful attempt with the McGee engine. He has run a 5.58 with the KB and he's obviously looking to do the better. Crazy man Taylor on screen now, normally runs in top alcohol funny cars, runs some high sixes with that combination, runs two engines, decides that uh, he's probably going to get better money for running a nitro funny car, puts the fuel motor in and goes racing. Backing up hard to Peter is Helen Russo, she looks after a lot of the, uh, the tune up of the car and also a lot of the basic running around. Most of the funny cars had problems in qualifying, either smoking the tyres or not able to come up with a tune-up. Let's hope they've got it together on this run. This is Russo's second appearance at, the, at Eastern Creek Raceway. And uh, after, after a bad attempt last time, I'm sure they'll be back again for a better one. Yes, unfortunately hung a rod out in the burnout, did Peter Russo, his first time here at Eastern Creek Raceway. But he's back to prove that he can run successfully with this funny car. Although he did manage to get a five-second pass in the wind performance products lane in the early qualifying session on his first time at Eastern Creek. John Taylor here can certainly surprise. He has run uh, 680s and he can do this with the old, the old again a lot quicker again. Yeah, all John needs to really do is come up with the tune-up. Still runs a Lenko transmission. Most of the uh, the top running funny cars have, of course, the lock-up clutch single drive set up. But John still with the uh, the gear shifts on board. Big crowd at Eastern Creek here. A fantastic turnout, as I said before. The sun has come out, the weather is beautiful and conditions are ideal for drag racing. The track has also improved throughout the day and let's hope it's got plenty of traction to hold these 5,000 horsepower funny cars. Taylor's in the stage, Russo slots it in, he's red lighted. Russo's gonna chase him down anyway. Shuts the car off, I think he spat a couple of spark plugs out there. But uh, the winner is Peter Russo. Russo runs a 9-1-2-6, no speed recorded. Taylor, 687 for the lose with the red light. Well, a 687, you said that Taylor can produce the goods, unfortunately, too soon. We can see on the replay, Taylor was out a long way too soon. Russo didn't see the red light, tried to chase him down, saw that Taylor was so far out. Meet up with Peter Russo. Alan Dobson from Western Australia takes on John Taylor, the crazy man from New South Wales, one in a Chevy Beretta, the other one in a Chevy Corvette. If there's a challenger to Victor Bray for the Burnout King, it is the crazy man, John Taylor. He's done it again, Gerald. He's left some smoke there. There's a bit of huffing and coughing and puffing behind there, I'll tell you. Now, the interesting part, John Taylor's brother was in hospital two weeks ago, had a heart attack. He came out here, did a demonstration run at the NASCAR race last week, but he's back here. You promised me you wouldn't swear. A heart attack in my language is a swear word. <laughs> Alan Dobson also on track at this time. It's Dobson's first nationals in Nitro Funny Car. We saw him in the past driving the Castrol top alcohol car. He's back in the green machine. So Alan Dobson from Western Australia in the green coloured car. John Taylor from New South Wales, the crazy man. He's in the Chevy Corvette. The other one, a Chevy Beretta. There they go now. And Dobson gets away well. And so, oh, look at Dobson, just drives away. Alan Dobson, the crazy man. Oh, he's got a bit to worry about. Dobson a 587, a three. Crazy man, Taylor. He's the one on screen now in this uh, Corvette funny car from uh, Granaro, New South Wales, up against Corey Lee in the Team USA car. Yes, and Corey Lee with uh, some uh, assistance from Dean Scusa, one of uh, a very strong funny car competitors from the United States, out to be his crew chief here this weekend. Well, that's a bit of a uh, reversal of fortunes for these two, because Corey's made his name as a... Uh, as a very worthwhile crew member in the USA, this is his opportunity behind the wheel of one of these 5,000 horsepower nitro methane burners, and it was a very strong burnout from the uh, the Yank. I think the problem we may see here is uh, too much horsepower coming from this car. There's no doubt he can tune these uh, big nitro burners to make some power. There it is, wheel spin. Will he pedal it on and off the throttle? Goes for a uh, good qualifying time, we'll drive it through. You can't get on and off the throttle too much in these cars, and a 10 
at 224 kilometres an hour. Let's take a look at it off the start line now. On the replay, gets to about 100 foot, smokes the tyres. Taylor, very close to the, uh, the side of the racetrack. He also, with some problems, shuts it off. Well, that's it for qualifying here at Adelaide International Raceway. We'll be back with more action later. Back to a 661, so not a bad job for ages. Now, can uh, Crazy Man Taylor take on Corey Lee from the USA? Lee had a mile of horsepower on board in that qualifying session, but never looked like getting it down to the track. Went up in, uh, well, what virtually looked like another burnout. Corey Lee made a statement prior to the race meeting that this is where John Force made his uh, start to his famous career. Corey Lee, well, he's uh, done a lot as far as tuning and uh, crew chiefing is concerned, but he wants to get behind the wheel and hopefully create a career, a career for himself here in Australia. Well, this is the opportunity to do it. Once again, we see these big, long, smoky burnouts from the uh, both funny cars. They are trying to get as much hot, sticky rubber onto that tarmac as they can. Adelaide International Raceway and the crowd is still growing as this uh, meeting is progressing. Funny cars are rather unusual form of motorsport, unique to drag racing. You can see it there, the fiberglass body draped over a chrome molly tube chassis. The engine sits in front of the driver. He's got the clutch and drive line between his legs. It is a ride and a half in one of these cars. Really would have to be the wildest ride in motorsport for my money. These guys, I mean, it's all happening right in front of them. If anything goes wrong with the engine, they're sitting behind it, they'll wear it. Let's see how Corey Lee goes now. Big set ahead of flame from the fuel coop. Charges hard to half track and absolutely annihilates John Taylor. Long way into the braking area. He should pull that one up okay. And Corey Lee, a 544, 445 kilometres an hour. Look at it on the replay. Check the flames out on Lee's car, then have a look at Taylor's. It's obvious who's making the horsepower. Corey Lee looking extremely strong. He's going to be hard to beat in the final. Peter Russo is the man he's going to meet, and we'll have that for you a little bit later on. Park Raceway for round two of the Australian Funny Car Championship and a new American on the scene, Keith Action Jackson. Well, this is qualifying, and in beside Keith will be John Crazy Man Taylor. Of course, the trick here is there are five cars trying to fit into a four-car field. Only the fastest four qualifiers will run in eliminations tonight. Jackson from the USA, he wants to be there, as does Crazy Man Taylor. Cars being fired up now, the 5,500 horsepower. Nitro burning all aluminium uh, Hemi V8. The USA competitor moves forward now. Funny cars going for very big burnouts. Action Jackson putting on a good show in front of a very large crowd here at Calder Park. Crazy man, he's renowned for big burnouts. Take a look at this one. Smokes the tyres to half track. The crowd go wild. The Melbourne fans certainly love their funny car racing. These cars, of course, running the uh, same engine as you'll find in a top fuel dragster. Five and a half thousand horsepower, as Nathan mentioned, but much shorter wheelbase. The engine's out front of the driver, and if anything goes wrong, these things can get pretty hairy. Yes, yeah, only 3.175 metres long, or 125 inches, and that uh, engine sitting in front of the driver. And of course, you've got to get all the power to the ground, so the drivetrain runs between your legs, the uh, driver sitting over the differential. A different way to drive these cars to a top fueler, a lot more steering movement. The cars uh, probably tend to be driven a little bit more like your standard road car. And there you see it, the body coming down to be locked into place. This is qualifying, both cars into stage now. A bit of a hole shot for Crazy Man, but look at the USA car streak ahead, close to the sideline, and gets there. Five. You're doing that again? Once is enough. Crazy man Taylor from New South Wales. John Taylor, a veteran of the sport. Great to see him making it into the field. And here's Lloyd. Lloyd Jones at the south side engine set. A funny car, a big, strong burnout. And this team is here with one mission today. And that is to pick up the title Australian champion in the Nitro Funny Cars. Well, John Crazy Man Taylor may be suffering Stuart Bond from not having that qualifier yesterday, and this could cost him in this race. He doesn't know what the track's going to do. He doesn't know what the car's going to do, and Lloyd Jones does. Well, they're a pretty tight group. All the drivers have been talking to him, trying to get him down the track. Three times they started the engine yesterday, three times they had a problem and couldn't put it on the start line. It's great to see it out there right now. The crowd have really pumped him up, and Taylor is on it at half track, and it is going away from him now. Lloyd Jones with a 5 40 Two, the quickest lap so far. Why didn't it come in qualifying, Glenn Micra says. I guess they're a bit too hungry then. Well, the boys look pretty happy. Oh, 